goal to border. Beautifully bowled, X close, a big shout from behind the wicket, but not out, says the umpire, Peter O'Connell. Do John cannot believe it. Beautifully bowled, he's got him, cut back and border, bowled again, a good delivery from Joel Gunn, the breeze coming across the ground, cut back in an inside edge and border, bowled again. And a great over by Joel Gunner, had Alan Border in all sorts of trouble early on in the over, and then producing this magnificent delivery, threw him for pace and deflection down under the stumps from Alan Border. So good breakthrough by the West Indies and Alan Border's run of outs still continues. So Australia now one for 14. Joel Garner to David Boone. Oh, it's up in the air. Could be out. Slips under it. He's caught it. Boone standing his ground. Off his arm, maybe. Well, just a surprise. I thought that was off the glove. It's all happening here at the Melbourne Cricket Ground. Bowled in. Beautiful Yorker by Joel Garner. Strikes again. And Vessels bowled clean as a whistle. Garner with that high action. Speared it in towards the stumps and knocked him over. A beauty. We've seen Garner York the tail enders on numerous occasions this summer. On that occasion, it was the bat of Kepper Vessels that he snuck underneath of. And that was a beautiful delivery by Garner. Removing that off stump of Kepler Vessels. Vessels out for 17. Australia in the 10th over, 25 for the loss of two wickets. It's in the air. And Michael holding his dropper. Acting West Indies captain today will be very disappointed with that effort. Wayne Phillips now taking strike to Garner. It's in the air. Holding's coming in from it on. He's dropped the last three, but he catches this one. And Phillips is out. And Joel Garner picks up his third wicket. The rewards of pretty consistent bowling. Phillips's patience expired. Came down the wicket. You don't do that to Joel Garner. At the best of times, Joel makes the ball come up off a length. And Phillips, I think, just averted his eyes. He was going to come down the wicket, saw the ball rising, tried to pull it away on the leg side, averted his eyes, got a top edge, and holding to the rest. So, Wayne Phillips out for 22 off 38 deliveries, 6 for 185. It's gone miles in the sky. Dujon's running way after it. He'll get there. He'll catch it. Got caught there by Dujon. Marsh trying to smash that over the offside field. Top edge. The ball went miles in the sky. You see, you can see that Jeffrey Dujon has learned from that mistake over in Perth last weekend where he dropped Kim Hughes. This was his catch all the way. The ball going back over his head. He called whether it was his and charged after it. And a well-judged catch taken with the glove. So the end of a good innings from Rodney Marsh. His last appearance for Australia in the international arena. Once again, turning in a very useful performance. Yesterday we thought it was going to be his last match. Well, today it definitely is. Garner to Lawson. It's bowled him. Well, that was the last ball of the innings. The Australians, 8 for 212. That's the end of the 50 overs, and the innings finished with Lawson out bowled by that perfectly straight delivery.